Hey everyone, this is Blackhawk SC and welcome back to this channel. If you've been subscribed to my channel, you'll notice that I never use strikes on my mech review videos. This is because I want to give you guys an accurate picture of what the mech can do on its own. There's no question that strikes, especially two of them per match, can put out a lot of damage. But how much in reality? In this video, I'll try to answer that question. I'll first talk about how much damage strikes do, and second, I'll give you my opinion on whether they're worth taking if you're trying to make C-Bills. I want my tests to be as realistic as possible, so I had to take them into real matches and drop them on real enemy formations. I took all the strike nodes on the skill tree, but I also did tests without any nodes for comparison. If I get hits with the strike, I'll let the game play out without firing any weapons, and see what the results are at the end. I'll drop a second strike only if I get no hits on the first. I looked at Artie's strikes to start with. I'll mention that because the shells in a strike drops in random locations in a circle, the results can vary. Each shell can do different amounts of damage depending on how far away the mech is to the shell. In rare cases, dropping a strike right at the feet of an assault mech will result in every shell missing. Therefore, I think it's best to look at averages across several scenarios. In this match, I dropped one right on top of the Annihilator and ended up with 3 hits. This is a typical scenario where you aim your strike directly at a mech that isn't fast enough to get out of the way. The result is 91 damage, and I tried this scenario multiple times and the number generally hovers around 100 damage. Sometimes you get lucky and you get tons of hits on a single mech. This strike resulted in 175 damage. If you average out the single mech scenarios, you probably wind up in a ballpark of 120 damage if you eliminate the cases where your strike misses completely due to bad luck. Now let's take a look at when you're able to hit multiple mechs. Sometimes the result isn't that much of an upgrade from a single mech case, like here, where even though 4 mechs were still in the strike area by the time the strike ended, the shell simply didn't hit where they could have been most effective, and we wound up with only 133 damage. The fact that the mechs started backing up doesn't matter, as they were still in the strike circle. A more typical strike would get solid hits on maybe 2 or 3 mechs, as you see here. In this case, we got 2 or 5 damage. Here is an above average strike. It's still 4 mechs, but the shells got a lot more hits and we got 232 points on this one. Unless you're playing a light, this kind of placement is uncommon, but it can be done. This one is the highest damage RD I got during my testing. Although this looks like it wouldn't be that great, again because of how random the strikes are dropped, the shells happen to cluster right around the Marauder 2, the King Crab and the Mad Cat Mark 2, giving us 271 points. Overall strikes on multiple targets would get you in the ballpark of 200 damage. What about without any RD skills? In general, you should expect less damage, but it also depends. Sometimes you end up hitting more mechs because you didn't take enhanced spotting node and got a greater area effect. In this case, I got 260 damage because the mechs I targeted were super spread out. What about airstrikes? Since PGI nerfed the number of shells dropped in an airstrike, they've been less preferred than RDs. But because they're able to drop across obstacles, they're good against single enemies hiding behind terrain, and the damage output matches that of Arties in that case because the shells are clustered close together. This strike, for example, gave me 126 damage. If you happen to be lucky, you can get a strike like this one. Because you tend to drop airstrikes across terrain, you really can't tell how many there are on the other side. Also, rarely do you get a nice line of 3 mechs to strike because players want to be spread out a little bit to be able to maneuver and to avoid friendly fire. But in this case, I got 209 damage. So what can we discern from these results? Well, if we're using double strikes and we got ok hits on each, that's 200 to 300 damage and possibly more that's being added to the damage results. I think that messes up any kind of performance evaluation you'd be doing on a particular mech. So if you're simply testing to see how a mech does by its damage and kill output, don't use strikes since you're not testing your strike placement skills and PGI's random number generator. That's not to say that you shouldn't drop strikes altogether. If you want to maximize your chances of winning, you should equip double strikes. Also drop your strikes early because then you have a greater chance of getting multiple hits as mechs are less spread out in the beginning of a match. Moving on to another topic, do strikes earn their money back? This is debatable because you can't look at strikes in isolation. If you did, the answer would clearly be no. PGI rewards 21 C-bills per damage, so the damage itself is not enough to pay back for the strike. Remember PGI designed the current version of strikes to be a C-bill sink, and it does what it's supposed to do generally. In this match, I placed a very good strike. I got a solo kill on the light as well as good hits on the assault next to it. Solo kills earn 10,000 C-bills, 
And because Solo Kills always comes with a KMDD, the KMDD also gets you 7500. Each component destroyed is 4000. Even then, the earnings are not enough to pay back for the 40k strike. The real variable is whether the strike will flip a game from a loss to a win because the win award is 40k more than a loss. Then add things like the salvage bonus and additional kill assists, more components destroyed, KMDDs, and other rewards since you'll probably get less of those in a loss. I think only when the game is close do strikes manage to turn something around. This is accounting for the non-damage effects of the strike, for example pushing enemies back such that your team can advance. In rolls or 12 to 5 or 12 to 6 kind of games, your strikes wouldn't have mattered either way. Because actual close games are more of the exception than the norm these days, the net effect of strikes should not make that big of a difference most of the time. Also consider strikes that miss for whatever reason. Therefore, I recommend to newbies and players who are low on C builds that unless they're on premium time, don't use strikes and they'll earn more C builds in the long term. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out my MWO strategies playlist in the description for more videos like this. And I will see you next time.